you can't miss it if you're looking for it as you wind your way up the hill. Another roadside memorial. There are scores of them, but this one is different. A cross and a hockey stick. It has disappeared from time to time, but there are those who refuse to let it or the memory that it celebrates vanish. Well, at one point we, we noticed it wasn't there any longer. It disappeared. So my son, Kyle, who was going to Flagstaff High School in those days and a minor hockey league player, was in a welding class. And I said, Kyle, we need to uh, get another sign. So he, in his class, in a plasma cutter, he cut a, a cross with Jay's name in it. We went and dodged the traffic on I-17 and got to the same place we thought the other cross was. And, uh, we put that cross there and put a hockey stick with it as well. Jay and Rochelle and Kelly were rink rats. One a hockey player, the others figure skaters. Brother and sisters. Time spent and time passed at the local public sheet of ice. Jay and I were here from the minute the doors opened. And it didn't matter if there was five inches of snow or 60 inches of snow, we were here and we would stick our skates on our hands and we would plow up the hill just to get here. He's my big brother and we fought like siblings and we were friends like siblings are friends. But I have come to find that he was larger than life.